Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. We have seen the pack code, and we know that it's coming soon. A brand new icon pack that we have very much so needed in FIFA 23 could come to this game as early as today, and we need to get preparing and need to start talking about how this icon pack might affect this game, because it's a new one we've never seen before, and it includes some of those brand new Trophy Titans Icons. We'll look at that today because that pack could be today. But of course, there's a lot to talk about with Bundesliga team of the season with EA dropping an insane set of players in packs yesterday and an insane SBC. It's making the market go crazy. A lot of coins being made, but also at the same time, a lot of coins being lost because some people are transitioning from Prem Tots cards to their team to Bundesliga. So it's a lot to talk about today. If you're excited for it, if you're excited for an icon pack that we can finally do as an SBC, hit the thumbs up and of course, subscribe. If you are new now, let's do a quick overview of yesterday's content. First of all, we're going to start in the SBCs. It was a crazy Friday yesterday. If we're being completely honest with the players that were released in packs, they had insanely juiced stats, but it all came down to the hype of the SBC player. Marco Royce. Now, I would show you the SBC, but I've completed him. He went boom straight into my team because the value in this SBC is immense and this card is incredible. I mean, look at this card. If I was to tell you that this card um, as an SBC is only coming in at around a price of 290,000 coins, you would be like, no way. But yes, way. It's happening because this Royce card is only three different squads to complete. Five star weak foot boost. He is a really, really good card. Ignore some of the matches in here. I gifted some wins and he was in the squad for that. But he can play striker, left wing, and left mid. He has really, really great stats. I've chosen a finisher chemistry style on him to make him explosive in his accelerate type. And man, this SBC got a lot of people excited just because A, it's Marco Royce. B, the price here is fantastic. I mean, think about how much this would be on the market. I would assume that with some of the other players we have in this team, if this card was on the market, he would probably be about four to 500,000 coins just for this very card because it is a really cracked card with really cracked stats and I mean it's pretty easy to craft as well with all the high rated that we're getting team the season cards yesterday EA dropped an SBC as well called the flash SBC that was available for the end of Premier League tots and the beginning of Bundesliga team of the season and that gave some people higher rated cards and maybe some team of the season pack pulls to go out and help them craft this SBC we'll talk about that SBC again in regards to fodder here in a little bit but WSBC for a W player I mean there's not much else to say except it's an absolute W for this Royce card and he's already in so many people's teams and it's always an incredible thing when a brand new player SBC is dropped on a promo Friday and it just helps you want to try out new cards in the promo team and makes half the cards in the promo team so much more linkable because Royce is from Dortmund and is German. So really WSBC there. Make sure you get that one done during this next week. You could craft it very easily with upgrade packs as well. It's a WSBC for sure. We also had two player of the month that was expected. We had Erling Holland and we had Rafael Leal. Rafael Leal is a W value. It's basically the foot phenoms card without five star skills even a little bit better stats for like 70,000 coins, a W price there for that card. And then Erling Holland, it's the first Holland SBC of the year, technically, which is crazy that this is his first player of the month with the year that he has had, but deserved nonetheless. And if you want to get a Holland SBC that's there, I wouldn't say it's really that cracked. I mean, look at the Royce card. Royce is cheaper than Holland. And in my opinion, a better card overall, especially when you have Todd's Harry Kane, who basically finishes everything in the game, regardless as a prem striker. So it was a busy day in SBCs yesterday. Like I mentioned, that Flash Challenge was out as well, and that was making some fodder go up in price. But in Objectives is also where there's a lot going on. We have a Taram Group Reward Bundesliga Year in Review, and it's kind of one of those like teasers things where you have to figure out what the riddles mean, and you have to solve the riddles to complete the objective. Now, good news is that a lot of people on Twitter have come together to kind of figure out what all of these different... Uh, descriptions are trying to say and we've basically solved the riddle shout out to Nepenthes and his community he is the one who has tweeted this and I'll leave a link to this tweet down below in the description but this is what you have to do to get it done it's not that crazy hard the hardest one looks like it is eight games with four Dortmund players and play 10 games with two players from Bayern Dortmund Union Freiburg or Leipzig in the starting 11 of your team and you can get this done in foot champions, right? Squad battles, semi pro or high rivals, and in foot champs. So it is a very nice grind, especially for the rewards that you get in here, right? You get the eight Bundesliga players pack. This is the most popular one, an 81 times 11 Bundesliga pack uh, right there. You've got more XP and Icon Gerd Muller. 
In a team of the season, I don't know how to say this guy's name, so I'm calling him Dookie. We're calling this guy Dookie, but he's got 90 defense, 95 physical, a three, uh, three star weak foot on the card is not that amazing, but for a free center back with a 99 strength, not that terrible of a card whatsoever. Also Dutch, um, some nice Dutch links recently, like with Chong and all that sort of stuff. So two cards available via this objective once again kind of a fun way for ea to do it right i mean i like this idea i mean it does take a little bit of figuring out what this is but this is such a cool idea from ea they've done this before um and it fun it's kind of fun to like work together and see the community figure out how to get it done but then also as a part of it there's some nice packs and it's really not that hard to do so that is a w objective there in my opinion we also got the cup um and that of course can't be glossed over because you've got some decent packs in here as well the bundesliga tots guaranteed is in there you've got an 85 plus it's basically the same cup every single week and i do believe you have to use bundesliga players once again like last week you had to use prem so it's kind of interesting to see the quality of squads changing from last week in the bundesliga cup um, this week in the Bundesliga Cup to last week for the Prem Cup. The Bundesliga just doesn't have as many special cards this year. Of course, there have been plenty, but I think that's affected some prices on the market as well, and you've seen some other cards go up in value a lot more on the low tier in the Bundesliga end with the links to Royce and that cup being there. Now, let's talk about the team that is in packs because this is what really brought some of the excitement yesterday. Who would want to do a cup for packs if the cards in packs were not that good? But they are. EA juiced the heck out of this team. I mean, and Cuckoo is 97, 97, five star, five star, absolutely incredible. Jude Bellingham, Club 90. He's not even the only Club 90 card in this team. 7.4 million coins, he was extinct, very, very expensive. That is kind of how this team, to me, is how I think of it. A very expensive team right now because A, they're pretty rare, and B, they are very high rated and very juiced. Like, look at all the 97 and 96 cards. Musiala, Bellingham, Delict, Kimmich. We've got a 95 in Kunku. And then we have a 95 Mane and Goretzka. Like, very high rated cards, very big juices. A nice skill move, weak foot upgrades on some of these cards. Uh, also, some nice work rate changes as well. Kimmich, who is extinct at 750k, is now 500,000 coins. He is high, high work rates. Four star, four star. He can play right back, CDM, and center mid. Absolutely incredible card there. You look through this list, and the, another thing I love about it is there's great cards that are absolutely expensive and juiced, like this Delict, who looks to rival one of the best center backs in the game with these sort of stats. He's 1.5 million coins. But you can also try out a brand new 100,000 coin Kolomani um, for a four star, four star, 95 pace, 94 dribble card there with France links as well, as well as if you have the Diaby SBC, an easy link there from Pong, right? A little more expensive. I think he's going to drop off. Now, these cards started off very expensive and we expected that, right? Why was that the case? Because there was not as many saved up packs today. Rem remember, if you guys saw the prices like in the first couple of hours, Alfonso Davies was like 600,000 coins. And I remember saying on stream, like, guys, this guy is very overpriced. He's going to drop down. He's only 92 rated. And that means he's going to continue to get packed. And of course, at the same time, a lot of people were trying out these cards. So again, it was as expected. These cards did not start out cheap. They started out very expensive and they've continued to fall off uh, into the nighttime. And they're probably... Um, bar some fluctuations today on Saturday, they're probably going to continue to drop off during the day today. There could be a couple of fluctuations as people wake up today, want to go out and try out some of these brand new cards like Kimmich at 500k. Like that's really, really low. I'm very interested in this Kimmich card because he was extinct at 750 with the nice work rate change. And just with the absolute insane card that he is, I'm very tempted to pick a couple of these up and see if he rebounds into the morning time today on Saturday. I think that's going to happen on a handful of these cards, especially with the Royce SBC being as cracked as it is. Uh, I really think there's potential here for, especially some of the cheaper cards. Like I think about Sané, I think about uh, Schlotterbeck. There we go, picked up a Kimmich for 505,000 coins. I think about some of these cheaper cards. Like if you would have told me that a four-star, four-star Leroy Sané was gonna be 100,000 coins on this game. What is he right now? Flippin says 104, but they're lying. He's 114. But like this card for 100K with the finesse shot trait, flair, and four star, four star upgrade, especially with the links to Royce, all those alternate positions that are there, like that's a really cracked card. Or maybe Lacroix, right? Lacroix with his 91 pace and 91 defense and 90 physical, the first, or not the first, but one of the most recent Lacroix cards we've had 
in, in the, the recent past in this game, um, like that's a pretty cracked out card as well for only 144,000 coins. So I like this team because EA gave out some incredible boots, but there's also prices all the way from the top to the bottom that give you really, really, really insane cards. So I'm a huge fan of this team and I can't wait to try to pack some of them later on this week so just be careful with the prices today once again as expected they're probably going to get some low prices here in the early saturday hours they're going to rise up a bit but then i also would expect prices to drop back down again during the day today into the nighttime on saturday as they just get supplied from people opening their weekly rewards and more lightning round packs and stuff like that is dropped on this game so that's a lot about bonus tots and like nate we're going to talk about the content in this icon pack that we're supposed to be getting excited for Let's talk about it. So we have had this 88 plus Trophy Titans hero pick, which I didn't even do yesterday. I said, I'm not doing this because I'm going to do the Royce SBC instead. And I'm glad that I put my fodder into that instead of this because you get a guaranteed Royce card instead of gambling on one of these. But for this icon pack, we've seen it added to the code. And the reason I want to talk about it today is because this is a huge icon pack. People have been wanting an icon pack now since we haven't had one for a couple of weeks. And this is one, this is one that adds in the most recent icons, the Trophy Titans. And it's, again, a 90-plus icon pack. Prime, Team of the Year, Foot Birthday, or Trophy Titans icon. Now, when is this SBC going to drop? It could drop as early as today. That's one of the reasons I wanted to cover it extensively in today's video is because this could be an SBC that we get today. There's been a couple times where EA have dropped icon SBCs on Saturdays. Sundays is the most common day, but depending on what they want to do, depending on what they're trying to schedule and try to make content and prices, whatever, whatever their plans are, today could be a day that we get it. It also could very well be tomorrow. So that being said, let's prepare today. We've seen the 90 plus icon pack with the team of the year, foot birthday and prime variant of this be released already twice in this game. It was 410 K the first time, 305,000 coins the second time. And I don't know about you guys, but I remember doing a couple of these and the prime weight was very heavy because just like in these player picks here or these packs here this pack is still including prime icons which means the prime icon weight on this pack is going to be pretty heavy as well i think there's something like 93 prime icons that are technically packable from this but you also add in those trophy titan icons that are the most recent version so instead of packing prime viera you could also pack the trophy titans version of viera right that's where some of the hype is now also with the trophy titans versions if you kind of kind of dig into the context here there will actually be an opportunity to pack some little bro titan icons but only two of them because it is javi and um, I forget who the other one is, Javi and uh, Lom. Javi and Lom are the only little bro icons, as we call them, the lower tier versions that are 90 rated or above. So you can tell like 92 Lom and 90 Javi would be in this pack. Del Piero, Fernando Torres, those guys are not going to be in this upgrade pack SBC. But you could, of course, get the big bro versions of these cards because they are, of course, above 90 rated as well so that's where the hype is with this pack now how much is it going to cost as we saw the other 90 plus icon upgrades were about four to three to four hundred thousand coins now with fodder being as cheap as it is how much would it cost this time i think it would almost have to be around that same range maybe even a little bit cheaper unless ea specifically go out of their way to be higher rated squads and to make it a little more expensive feeling because fodder prices are so low. And you almost got that vibe with the Royce SBC that we had yesterday because there were three squads inside of it and still now seeing this at three squads in 86, 87, and 88 with the price tag only being 290 or 300K is pretty crazy, right? So this SBC might seem like it's going to be pretty expensive because fodder is just so cheap. They can put out a higher rated squad requirement and it's just not going to be that much more expensive to do because fodder is so attainable right now. So if you were to invest in any fodder for this, what would you potentially invest in? Well, seeing as a lot of people have team of the season cards in their clubs, yes, there could be some high rated requirements inside of this. Yes, there could be price movements on the 91s, the 92s, those cards could, I mean, 26K for a 91, like that is crazy, right? It really is ridiculous how cheap some of these cards are. Your cheapest TOTS cards in the game are some of these like 90 rated team of the seasons. This kind of doubles 
as like a good fodder tots investment and also an investment um, for a potential high rated like Hoffman is one of the cheapest 90 rated cards right now as a team of the season card he's like 21 or 22,000 coins which I guess is a little bit of an undercut on footbin but like 22 or 21k for a 90 rated tots card like that doesn't seem too bad to me and if you get any of those higher rated team of the seasons that are 91 rated I mean Gertruida at what is he 25,000 coins 24k like that seems pretty decent to me as well I think 91s if you're going to go for a higher rating 91 could be a good rating and i would focus on the gold cards guys i know we're talking about tots pick one or two of those up but focus on the gold cards because those always rise more so if you want to invest in high tier fodder you can look there now for the lower tier part of the fodder market which i would feel more comfortable investing in because again everybody has high tier fodder you've got the 88s and above you're packing tots cards you're getting the guaranteed tots packs multiple times per week from multiple different locations in the game you've got high rated cards in your club so what do you need to buy the lower rated i think there's more potential for a rise here on the 84 to 87 side of things but the prices here aren't necessarily that low 86 is at 8.7 these are pretty low i mean last week they were about 8.3 on tuesday so they have been lower right they are you know pretty low in nature but of course at the same time as you see this spike that we had yesterday on friday fodder prices were very high yesterday because of that 84 rated squad requirement that was in the flash sbc and a ton of people were doing that flash sbc as you can see for that four hour period where the sbc was out 85s went from six and a half k all the way to seven and a half now they're back down to the low to mid 6k range if we don't get the eye compact today this stuff is going to go lower so that's kind of the gamble that you have to think about if you want to invest in fodder i like the lower tier but also right now the lower tier is up a bit because it was in demand yesterday it could come down like we're saying could come down later on into today if the icon pack is not dropped today. Um, if I had to guess, I would assume the icon pack would be tomorrow. But I wanted to talk about it today because, again, maybe you just start with a club stock. Maybe you put a couple of these cards in your club so that you're ready just in case it comes. But then you go fuller in on a fodder investment maybe Saturday night, maybe into tomorrow on Sunday morning if you see lower prices on fodder and the SBC is not out yet. So I like the 85s, 86s, and the 87s the best because, again, like I said, if you're needing 88 and 89 rated squads, you have the 90s and the 91s and T of the seasons that will go up a little bit, but a lot of people already have those. They're going to be buying the lower tier fodder to finish out that squad. And then you could see a bit of panic selling on some of the icons. Every time we see an icon pack like this, you do see a little bit of selling on kind of the icons that are already in the game that people are expecting they're going to pack. But in reality, they're probably not going to pack those guys very often. So that will be another thing to watch out for. I don't expect icons to drop that much, but maybe some of the icons that are around like 200 to 400K since that's the price of the SBC. And since EA drained a lot of fodder out of people's clubs yesterday because of that 86 plus double the flash SBC, you could see some of those cards drop as people need to sell some cards to go and complete that SBC because there's going to be a lot of hype for it, of course. Now, that SBC could be today, but also what we could see today, a little bit of other content. Let's talk about Saturday on this game a little bit more. We only have one leak at the moment, and it's really not a concrete leak either, but it is Serge Nabry as a Bundesliga Tots objective or SBC. Of course, now that we have Tehran as an objective, you would think this is going to be an upcoming SBC. Now, the only thing that would contradict this coming pretty soon is Saturdays have been flashback SBC days, right? Last time we had Havertz and the week before that, we had the um, SBC for Delo Feu and community team this season. So, you know, I'm a little unsure if we're going to get Serge Gnabry today. Very interested to see if that is going to be something uh, that does drop on this game. How much is Kimmich right now? Flippin just refreshed and says he's 530. Is that true? It is absolutely true. Wow, what a rise on Kimmich in that short, in the video. We just watched Kimmich go up 30,000 coins. I'm glad I was able to pick one up right there. Looks like he's rebounding in price. And I'm going to keep an eye on some of these other cards. But anyways, today's content on Saturday, uh, along with the player SBC potential, um, we also have an objective that is going to come true today with the Bundesliga Tot Season Swaps Challenge 5. So this, of course, kind of... I don't know, the Saturday SBC for these started to be famous in my mind because of the Dutch 
pack that dropped. I don't think there's like a German pack that's in the code that would like crash all the German team of the season cards if they dropped it as a tradable SBC pack. So it might just be like the eight player Bundesliga pack today for this, but watch out for this SBC that could move some lower tier fodder prices as everybody's trying to get that done. Of course, progress in the season XP realm, but like a Saturday normally is in this game. It's all about weekend league. It is all about the grinding games to try to get the red picks for these cards in weekend league and of course trying out the brand new players again like i said um if i were going to flip any tots cards today i would maybe focus on uh, you know schlatterbeck kind of interests me because he, this is a link to um royce and a lot of your links to marco royce and a lot of your out of pack specials from the bundesliga are absolutely flying in price uh schlatterbeck is actually not 68k like flipping says schlatterbeck is 73,000 coins. So maybe picking up a couple here at 68K could be a decent buy. We'll see if he goes up a bit this morning. But um, some cards that are up like crazy in price right now, Emre Chan, uh, basically all of your Dortmund links. I sold a Jude Bellingham foot phenoms yesterday for a really inflated price. But this Emre Chan is 165K. He was 80,000 coins yesterday before the content drop. The Jude Phenoms card that I was mentioning as well, since there's no affordable version of Jude besides his Inform and this version on the game, this card was 220 yesterday. Now he's 320, 330,000 coins. So a big rise there, all because of the links to that Marco Royce SBC. Now, really quickly, I'm losing a lot of coins right now as well. You might be asking Nate, well, how did you get some of your coins back? Did you take some losses? I did. I took losses yesterday. I also took some Ws, right? We traded with some German icons. I bought these Lams at 200 to 220. I bought three Sokka's yesterday or two Sokka's at 540, maybe three of them. Yeah, three Sokka's at 540, sold those at 588 to 600. Um, but a lot of my investments for Premier League team this season did not end up very good. I still have a Salah at the moment that I bought for 2.6 mil. Oh my gosh, he is too... Oh my, that is ridiculous. I've been kind of waiting for a bounce back on that card, but he just keeps dropping. I should have sold earlier today when he was like 2, 3, 2, 4, but I've just mistakenly held on and he keeps going lower. A lot of these Premier League tots yesterday got really low and then they came... Oh my gosh, Saka's 520. Wow. So this market, guys, is just all over the place because everybody is in the middle right now between trying out Bundesliga tots cards we're using the uh, Prem Tots cards from last week. There was a big sell-off at content on the Tots cards from the Prem. They Some of them bounced back. Like, this is where I bought Sokka and sold him right here. But now he's back down again. He could bounce back up later today. But, man, with the great content that was dropped yesterday, still with the craziness of the level 20 player pick that is in the season progress with so many people opening that and getting guys like Rodrigo, getting Hyunmin's son. I think that really just threw the market so much for a loop. And again, with the good content, with the Royce that we had yesterday, I think people are actually switching over to Bundesliga teams and selling some of their prem cards because that content is so good and again i hate to lose coins but also at the same time as i'll always say um you know i i will lose coins a lot more gladly when the content is is very very good so wow salah is literally 2.07 and that's crazy so i know a lot of you guys may have lost coins as well this did not go as we expected at all but how often does do things go as expected on fifa it's always changing it's always a question we always try to do our best to to make some coins and to invest and to do all this sort of stuff but a lot of times it doesn't pan out not a lot of times sometimes it doesn't pan out just because ea are in control and what they wanted to do was drop good content and uh, when they drop good content that really affects prices on this market so i'm gonna watch some bundesliga cards i've got some coins to make back i'm trying to trade on the weekends so that we can fund the upgrade packs that we do during the week and we're gonna do we're gonna do a lot more of those this week as well on this game so if you enjoyed the video today enjoy your saturday but drop a thumbs up on it if you did enjoy it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new good luck and champs and i'll see you guys in a video tomorrow it's been native food account see you guys there peace